Uh, why the VLAP is important? Um, well, we investigate the carbon cycling now as well. It's being integrated in the biogeochemical model that we're developing in the VLAP. So it can be interesting for policymakers to do some what if scenarios, uh, some runs, uh, future climate scenarios can be integrated in there. It's also an important tool just to have uh, a feeling with starting with the modeling just for teaching purposes. I think that's also a good idea. Uh, and interesting that it's uh, on the Lookout server, so it's uh, shareable, findable. Uh, also, the reproducibility is also uh, going well. We tried it on different platforms already. It works. That's really nice. Uh, exploited in the future, as I said, can be used for uh, policymakers, uh, policy scenarios, what if scenarios, uh, teaching purposes. Uh, personal, uh, I think we can also still develop and build in complexity further in the in the process because we have the code um, hands-on, it's in-house information, so that's really nice. So we can continue building further on it, uh, exploring more options, uh, including more uh, variables, parameters, getting more precise. Um, The status of the VLAP so far is that it's actually going well, it works, it runs. Uh, as I said, it's reproducible on the different platforms, so it's, uh, it works well, it runs smoothly, it's faster than on my regular uh, laptop, so that's really great. Um, so yeah, it's going nice, the data is incorporated from uh, the data lake, the, we include uh, Imunet data, ICOS data, SOCAP data, so it's going pretty well, I would say.